Hi, Otto here for Bavarian Autosport. Today, we're going to be changing the automatic transmission fluid and filter on a 2000 BMW 528i. Now, BMW recommends that this service actually rarely or never be done. This couldn't be further from the truth. We want to perform this service at least every 50,000 miles, if not as often as 30,000. It's an easy service to do, almost like changing the engine oil, but you do need to be under the car. Let's take a look at what we'll be using today for this service. Now here's a layout of some of the parts we'll be using and some various options we've got in doing this job. Number one, we've got our filter kit, which includes the filter, the pan gasket. This particular kit includes new bolts for the pan. We're also going to install a new magnetic drain plug in place of the original drain plug. Then we have our fluid. We have a couple of different choices on most transmissions for the fluid. We will only offer you the fluid that's proper for your specific transmission, so there's no fluid compatibility issues. We'll also need our fluid transfer pump to get the new fluid into the transmission. And of course, a drain pan for draining the fluid out of the transmission pan while we're doing the change. Now in addition to that, some useful other items and tools. We have the three foot by five foot garage guard, floor guard. This is an oil absorbent mat. We can put our drain pan right on top of this and it'll catch any extra splatter. We've got our pig mats, which are also an oil absorbent mat. These pull off like a paper towel roll. Here's one right here. And finally for the job, our safe grip gloves to keep our hands clean while we're doing this task. With that, let's get under the car and see what we've got. All right, here we are now under the car. We've got our transmission fluid pan here and our drain plug here and our fill plug is here. First, we're going to pull the drain plug drain the fluid, then we'll release, uh, remove the bolts on the pan, drop the pan down, the pan will still have a little bit of fluid in it, so we need to be careful on that. Then we'll be ready to access the filter. I've got our drain pan here. We sell these at bavauto.com, real nice one. We're going to drain in, and also to help prevent splashes, I'm going to use our Forma funnel and help direct the fluid into the pan so we're not falling all the way down and, and basically splashing every place. So let's go ahead and have at it. This is a Torx bolt on this particular transmission. The various transmissions on BMW models will have different fill and drain plugs. This one happens to be a Torx and it's mounted right here. I'll loosen that. I'm going to get the ratchet out of the way and use just the Torx tool to turn the drain plug. And excuse me if I'm standing in front of the camera at all so you can't see everything, but my main goal here is not to make a total mess with the fluid. I'm going to vent the catch can by removing the cap. And I'm pushing up on the drain plug as I'm loosening it so it doesn't just totally fall out. When I can tell it's totally loose, I'm going to remove it. And there we go. That's pretty nice, no splashing. So there you go, there's the oil. Now see how black that is? This fluid is not supposed to be black. It looks like used motor oil. So this fluid is way past its prime. We'll show you what the fresh fluid looks like before we refill. It's nice and clear. This transmission holds about four quarts or four liters. So expect about that much to come out. If you've had leakage, obviously uh, you may not have quite that much. Okay, we're almost done. I'm going to pull the uh, form of funnel out of the way put it on an oil absorbent mat that I have over here. This particular transmission 
uses 10 millimeter hex head, we might find Allen head or Torx head screws or a different size hex head. This one again is 10 millimeter hex. We'll use our 10 millimeter socket and our ratchet. We'll go around and loosen all the bolts to begin with. Okay, now I've got all of them loose. Now we'll start removing. I'm going to remove initially everything except one in each corner to keep the pan up. Remember, there's still going to be some fluid in this pan. So I'm going to remove everything but the corners, then we'll deal with the corners. All right, now we've got all of our bolts removed except one in each corner, so four left. I'm going to lower these so the rear of the pan comes down first so that the fluid will drain this direction into my pan. I'm going to put the drain plug back in so I'm not uh, having fluid coming out of the drain plug hole at the same time. And we'll just wipe that up just a little bit. There we go. Now, I'll loosen here, but leave the bolt in place. I'll go to the other side, loosen the same corresponding bolt on the other side, but again, leave it in place. I'm going to remove this rear uh, one on the other side. And I'm going to loosen this one. Now, the pan is held in place. It's glued a bit with the gasket. So now I need to pry the pan loose before I fully remove the bolts. And we'll just use a flat blade screwdriver for that. Okay, so now we've got the pan fully broken free all the way around. I'm going to support it here, remove this bolt, lower this side. Now I may be able to drop this pan without any fluid going over the top. That's going to be my goal. I'll just hold it up. I'm going to go ahead and remove these other two bolts. Set my tool aside. Don't want it in the drain pan and lower the pan. Now you can see the fluid that was still up there and there's the filter. The fluid is draining off the filter. I'm going to go ahead and pour this fluid into my catch pan. That doesn't look too bad inside. There's not a lot of sediment on the bottom of the pan, which is really good. Our fluid looks r nasty, but the bottom of the pan actually looks pretty good. That means there's a lot, not a lot of clutch material uh, sitting in the bottom of the pan. Okay, now here I wanted to show you in the pan, this might be a better angle to see what's in here. This is just the dirty fluid. And this is the magnet. And you can see this is what's coming off. This is, it, it looks like just a paste. But these are uh, metallic wear particles. Now overall, there's nothing wrong with this. These are normal wear particles. This car has over 200,000 miles on it. Uh, and I'll bet the transmission fluid's never been changed. At least this owner has not changed it and he's owned it for quite a while, not since new. But this, this is normal. 
and it's not bad. The amount that we're seeing here, you know, I would not be too concerned about. The fact that the bottom of the pan was fairly clean and we don't have a lot of this, just a, a little bit, uh, that's actually pretty good. This transmission will probably do pretty well with a fluid change and to move on from there. Okay, now, next is to remove the filter. Now here's the new filter, and this is the fluid intake pipe. This just has an O-ring on it. There's no bolt securing this. Some filters will have one or more bolts securing the filter to the body. This one, we just pull down. So we'll set this aside. And we'll just pull this one down and out. There will be likely more fluid come when we pull this out. Not too much. There's the fluid in the filter. We'll let that drain. All right, now we have the pan and the filter off. We've blotted up some of the oil off the bottom of the valve body. It's still going to keep uh, dripping, so keep your drain pan underneath. Ours is down below. We have the gasket left up here. Let's pull that down. Now we'll clean the gasket mounting area. We'll blot the oil. And then we'll come back and lightly scrape the area with a uh, gasket scraper to get the hardened residue off.